how to communicate to the uh, Automation Direct Click C001DD1-D using LabVIEW, it's LabVIEW 2013, and it's December 2013. Go to, to LabVIEW and get their Modbus, uh, pull, Modbus freebie goodie, the freebie library. Within this freebie library, it's nimodbus.llb, there's a Modbus Serial Example Master. When you open the Modbus Serial LabVIEW Master, here it is. I've added some goodies to it to do uh, to talk to this device. So uh, you select RTU. In this particular one, I've set the slave address, and I show another uh, in another video how that's done. Set the baud rate 38.4, no flow control, timeout 10 seconds, parity odd. And I'm going to use these uh, buttons here. And I'm going to be spying on those buttons using probes of LabVIEW so you can see what's going on. In a sense, all I'm doing is I'm turning on and off uh, and the Y6, and I could read the status of the Y6 by, by here. You'll see the LED go up, and I could turn it on, read the status. Um, read the status, turn it off, and read the status. So we'll see the status change here if I could push a button right here. So that button changes. So here's where all these connections go. So you see I'm not using any of this. I'm just using this address, this thing. I'm going to stop the program, let you look at each one of these things. This address goes here, coil value change. This is a polymorphic. So you select right single coil and you have the coil as a Boolean. Turn it on and off. That's what I was turning on and off. Here's the address. And when you select this right single coil, it sets up the, the Modbus to use the proper elements for speaking to coils. Coils came from the 1840s before they invented electronics, whatever. So in that, the other one, when I'm reading the status of the coil, I'm going here. So read the status. When I hit read status, I hit the start address. And the quantity, so I'm reading 8 of the start address, um, 81, uh, start address, 8193. So I could do 8192, and we'll see if 8192 is on, and I'll read the status. So I'm going to turn on 8192, 8192, and turn him on, and he's on, and read the status, and we'll see it here. So that was the purpose of that. It tells how many of them you're going to read. So here's the coils as an array. And simply select the polymorphic read coils. I am still trying to learn from Automation Direct how to talk to other elements. Function, CPU, built-in I.O. setup. In this I.O. setup, I have been turning on the Y1 um, relays and I can see the LEDs turning on and off um, and this is the one I have. What I'm looking for is I want to wire these into here and then have the, the learn from Automation Direct what do I put in this address in order to read these variables on these elements here um, when I plug this into here to read what's going on in the run. So that's where the next video will be. Hopefully they'll help me out on that one. Thanks.